In this problem, there are two trains and a listener. Train A, I'll draw in red, is stationary. Train B, drawn in green, is moving to the right at a speed of 35 meters per second. The listener is between the two trains, also moving to the right at a speed of 15 meters per second. Each train is sounding a whistle at the same frequency. We'll call it FS for frequency of the source, 392 hertz. In parts A and B, we're asked to find the frequency that's heard by the listener. That's given by the Doppler shift equation and equals the speed of sound V plus the velocity of the listener divided by the speed of sound V plus the velocity of the source, all multiplied by the source frequency. We have to pay careful attention to signs here. The sign convention is that the positive direction for those velocities is the direction from the listener to the source. So for train A in red, the positive direction is to the left. And for train B in green, the positive direction is to the right. In part A, we'll calculate the frequency heard by the listener from train A. Here, the positive direction is to the left, but the listener is moving to the right, so that picks up a negative sign. And the source is stationary. Train A isn't moving. When we substitute values using the speed of sound equals 344 meters per second and calculate, we find that the frequency heard by the listener from train A is 375 hertz. For train B, the positive direction is to the right. That's the direction of both the listener and the source, the whistle on train B, so both of those pick up positive signs. Substitute all the known values and calculate to find that frequency is 371 hertz. Part C asks us for the beat frequency between these two. That's the magnitude of the difference between the frequencies. So we can label these frequency heard by the listener from train A and B and subtract them to see that the beat frequency is 4 hertz.